Sorry, y'all. Hi, guys. This is Candace. Okay. So I just thought I would come and we would work some more on this little um, wood grain envelope tuck spot that we did the other day. So, oh, I know. Let me get some stuff. This is a little tag. Um, I went and, you know, added the little, a little label on there. Make sure I'm in. Yep. Okay. Add a little label, some of the little, um, purple and silver washi tape, put some little tulip glitter dots on there. And then, you know, like I said, we drew around those, like we did some quick stitching and I put some little dots and then I just put, had some glue stick on there. I, don't know. I was trying to clean my, my goop off of here, but anyway. Because my lid's not going on the way. So I just put a few little pieces on the back just to have some something else on the back. So he, shouldn't even be he, she, she is going into this little pocket that we made. And then I went and took, can you see, um, and did a three inch round circle and made a little tuck spot here. Because we're going to have, you know, some extra little cards floating around later. So I just thought that would be cute for a little more personality on there. And then this, I know, I went and did it, is one of the, um, Le I don't know if she, how does she pronounce her name, Leanna, maybe, Leanna Scrap, um, her fairy dream add-on kit. So I cut this little bitty fairy out of here because I wanted to put her on here. So let's glue, and I washed my glue out. I know, I washed my cap, hot water, all that good stuff. Refilled it. So let's see if I can not um, make too big of a mess. And I don't want glue on her leg, because it's going to be hanging off. <sighs> so anyway, there may be a few just short, short videos for the next couple of days. I'm going to try my best to get some done and put them on here. Uh, they stopped John's clinical trial drug. Um, they're just going to do palliative radiation. So they're just going to do 10 medium doses. We, uh, they did, I guess I do need a little, <laughs> I need a little on her leg after all. Let me see if I can get it in the right spot. Um, So anyway, it's it's definitely been a rough two days, rough yesterday, and a rough today. He stayed home. And uh, anyway, so I came down here to try to see if I couldn't play in my little journal. We will get another PET scan. They did a um, CT scan Monday. And then we'll do another PET scan on Thursday, and then we go back Friday to the radiologist to find out what, how much this has grown since the last time. But apparently, it's a, uh, it's been a busy little camper. And so anyway, all right. So I put her little on there because she's you know sitting on one of her little branches at her little house watching her little raspberries grow. And then I just, these are some of the words that I had made. And so I just took magic and we're just gonna put this right on here so we can have some, a little bit of magic on there. All right, so. All I can say is it's not sounding good and it's sure not looking good, but I, um, I will let y'all know more when we know more Friday. So I guess this weekend, but anyway, so let's, I'm going to try to draw a line around here. Just so it looks like we matted it, even though we didn't. Oh, and he weighs 117 pounds now. So, yeah. I don't know. 
like I said, I'm just scribbling on there like it looks like we sewed it. But I think I'll put a couple little dots on here for her magics. All right. Okay. So, so, so. And then, like I said, we're going to put some stuff in there. But I do think I want to, even though I'm going to have to wait a minute, but while it's drying, we can mess with something else. I wanted to put some little shimmer on her on her little wings. I know I'm going to have to go back and put shimmer on everybody's wings eventually, but while this page is open, we'll go, did, go ahead and do her, and we'll go ahead and add some on hers since I'm going to have it open to dry while I'm... I know they're going to be sparkly. So then, oh, we'll dog on it. <laughs> Let's see. I know I don't want it to touch the bottom, so we'll just have this here for now. So um, I put this little label and some um, pink coffee dyed doily behind it and some more little purple just so it ties, you know, the little purple's all in. And then I decided I wanted to make a, a little card to go in here. And so all I did was cut this oh it measures three and a half by a hair over five and then I wanted to because I was using one of these little cards from the your creative studio from the um, fairy kit and I didn't want to do rounded and I didn't want to do angle and I was like well let's just do some little you know like ticket looking thing so I'm using my five five eighths inch punch and I'm just taking my corner and going in about halfway, kind of make it look like Pac-Man. Wonka, 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 wonka. And just did that. And then that gave us that little look right there. So oh, I'm like, and let's ink it. Well, my ink's busy. <laughs> so anyway. And then we'll just lightly go around. And then this is some real good thick cardstock 12 by 12 that I had a, a scrap off cut over there so yeah yesterday I ran away went to the I actually drove and got a water burger I know went all the way over there by myself sat there ate that thing all by myself and oh, it was so good and then I stopped at Hobby Lobby found some stuff on clearance so I'll have to show you that and then, oh, well, Monday, after our <laughs> Monday appointment, um, I decided I was going to go to Michael's because I had to get those itty-bitty brads, not these, but the itty-bitty ones like um, I got in my Happy Mail because we're going to, good grief, we're going to do some Inspire Buy. We're, oh, I think I put it in the other bin. But I found, and I knew Michael's had the itty-bitty brads, so I went to Michael's to get my itty-bitty brads. And I'm kind of thinking I want some something around here. Um, and I ran into this lady. <laughs> Don't you know they only... Hold on, I'm trying to find my... Yeah, who do I want? What? No. White Frost. I guess we'll stick with some silver since we have the silver and the purple and everything. Um... So we're waiting in line because, you know, there's four people in line, one cashier, and I'm literally, all I'm getting is two little packs of brads and a 12 by 12 paper pad because it called my name and, well, I got it. So um, we're staying in line, this little old lady, I don't know how old she is, I say maybe 70s, I hope, you know, I don't know, and so she was... Um, she was in front of me, so she was getting her stuff checked out, and, and her total was like $100. She's like, oh, no, you're going to have to put something back. She says, I can't spend $100. She was buying 4th of July decorations. She's like, I can't spend $100 on just some 4th of July decorations. So, you know, of course, me and my loud mouth, and I got to butt in. I'm like, well, if you have an app, you can go to michaels.com, and they have a 20% off everything, you know, sale. And she's like, oh, so she goes there, and she's like, oh, well, I got a 40% off coupon. And the lady's like, oh, you can't use that because it's already, you know, on sale. And I don't know if I'm liking the silver with the green. Um, 
she said, but I know I'm going to pull out some rose gold. So, um, she said, but you can use the 20% off everything, which brought it down to like, her total was like $55. So she was happy. So she, she ended up getting the other little, um, flag decoration thing that she had wanted. And so she's like, well, she goes, well, honey, she says, if you want this 40% off coupon, she says, you can use it since it won't let me use it. And I was like, no, I said, everything I have, you know, is on sale. I said, I'm not going to be able to use it either. And then the girl's like, well, she's in, and, and the girl says, well, you know, ma'am, she goes, that expired on whatever day. I don't know. And, um, so, you know, the, the coupon wasn't even good anyway. So, and, uh, she's like, oh, you're buying some scrapbook paper? I says, yeah. I said, um, I'm, I make, um, journals using scrapbook paper. And she's like, oh, well, I got some scrapbook paper at home if you'd like, if you'd like to stop by and get it. She goes, I just live right down the road. Yeah, stupid me. <laughs> Follow this lady home. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, what if she's a serial killer? And then I thought, I could take her because, you know, she's a little old lady. And, and I'm in a mood. So I'm like, I, I can handle it. <laughs> but I am, I'm going... The whole, I'm driving down there, and then she, she just happens to live on, um, the other side of the interstate where I've never been, because, you know, there's no stores over there, and it, and it, I thought it was only just like, like farms or something back there, because you couldn't see, oh my gosh, there's like these brand new subdivisions back there, and it's, it's beautiful back there. And so when, and I said, well, um, I said, well, where do you live? Cause she was telling me, I was like, oh, I don't know where that is. And the cashier says, oh, it's just right down the road on the other side of the interstate. And I'm like, oh, the other side of the interstate. I said, I've never been there. So, you know, dangle some candy in front of my face. And so I followed her home. I know. I can't believe it. That just tells you what state of mind I'm in. So, you know, I, I'm going back there and I'm just like, because it's probably five miles down this road, but it's not like going down our road where you think someone is going to kill you. Um, there's actually big houses and, um, you know, beautiful landscape properties. And then at the very end of the road, there's this brand new subdivision. And that's where she lives. They're like, I call them patio homes because they have like their backs, the backs of their houses kind of, there's an alleyway there. So you park in there and then your little front, front area just has a little porch but they're really cute and then I saw that they were you know built by Lennar that's who built our Texas home because they had just you know come to Tennessee I don't know maybe five years ago so I'm like okay I'm feeling okay now and then when she opened up her garage I'm like I'm not parking in her garage but then she didn't have room for two cars in her garage because you know she has some you know all her like Christmas decorations and stuff in plastic bins a real neat lady and um you know neat tidy and so I parked out and, you know, out, out there and, um, and, and she's like, she's, well, I promised you a cup of tea. And now I'm thinking, oh my God, she's going to poison me, <laughs> you know, cause you know, now it just starts going through my head. I've lost my mind. So, um, so we go in there and oh my gosh, it's the cutest little house. She's got some beautiful antiques. She's got the two cutest little dogs named Marty and JJ. They're, um, Yorkie poodle toy poodle mixes and those little dogs no tricks turns comes to find out this lady used to show shelties and um so we kind of have a little you know it, we were meant to meet so we're sitting down and um she's like well I know I'm trying to decide what else this little neat thing needs but I don't know yet um maybe some purple and she's like, yeah, she goes, I was driving here thinking, I can't believe I did this. I said, I know me too. And I said, I was thinking, oh Lord, what if she's a serial killer? She says, so was I. And she says, I've never invited anybody to my house. She says, but I just, you know, need, you know, decided I needed to invite you to my house. And, and, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, it's a little friendship that I, I guess was needed to be. And, um, so I spent like four hours at her house. She was showing me her um, scrapbooking things that she's done. And um, just, and her husband passed away from cancer. And just, you know, little things. So I got home like at 9.30 at night just visiting. But it was fun. I had a blast. And... 
I told her when I come back to town, I said, I said, maybe Friday. I said, we'll see. I said, depending on what they do. I said, but I said, you know, maybe we can do lunch. She goes, oh, she goes, I'd love that. So we, we might do lunch Friday, depending on, you know, what our Friday turns out to be. And, um, but yes, yeah, she's a sweet lady. She's from California. She moved here three years ago. Um, cause her two daughters and their husband and grandkids live here. And then she's called Nana. So, you know, I was like, oh my gosh. And, uh, you know, cause then I was thinking about my Nana. So she was just showing me all her trips that they went to, um, Spain and and just all all these places and ruins and, and churches and grottos and stuff that you know just things that they did and um, when her husband was diagnosed they bought a camper and you know just traveled the United States and um, went up to Canada but yeah but her dogs oh my gosh y'all she, um, they're spoiled. Duh. Whose isn't? Um, but she tells them, forget their night, because they get little yummies at night. And she says, she says, you know, they get, they have to say their prayers. And these little doggies li literally lay down, put their paws down, put their noses, well, their paws are like this. And then, like, the very front little paws are on the tops of their nose. And she says their prayers. And, and then they get their little yum yum. And then the one, what's his name? JJ, he's the one that looks like a Yorkie. He's the Yorkie colors. The other one looks more like a the little toy poodle with the, the little furries and you know, curls and stuff. And um, I'll see that. I mean, that wasn't much, but it just really gave it some oomph. And so she says, watch. She says, JJ, bang, bang. And the dog goes, bloop. I mean, he was standing up and he just fell over and, and died. And I was like, oh my God. So, yes, I needed to be entertained by this lady and her doggies, and it was just so sweet. And those dogs are the sweetest little things in the world. Oh, I've got a thingy stuck to me. Maybe he wants to go on here. No, I don't want him on there. I want this other one. So, but yeah, so I, honest to God, followed a stranger home Monday because I was in so much need of a human friend. <laughs> it's so sad. But it's true. I know. I've just... Oh. So anyway. And then when I left, she's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's so late. I said, I know. I said, and I said, uh, she goes, I'm sorry I kept you here so long. I said, no. I said, because I really did want to see her scrapbook and, and hear all her stories. Because it was just wonderful. And, uh, and of course... Nobody had called looking for me. So, um, finally, you know, John texted and said, are you lost? And I'm like, no. I said, I found a friend. I'm visiting with a friend. And so when I, you know, got home, I kind of told him, he's like, I can't believe you went home with a stranger. So I know. He said, they could have been killers. I'm like, oh, well. So, but anyway, but she's like, now you call me when you get home. And I said, I will. So I called her, and she's like, I was just talking to my friend in California about you. She goes, I can't believe I did that. I said, I know, me neither. And, uh, but it was, it was a much needed little time. Well, there we go. That's just got some cute little purples on there. And when they dry, we'll put them behind this little pocket here. I know. And see, now that I've, what you dinkied, started with the, you know what those are. Doggone it. Sequins. We need some on here. I know. I told you once we started with them that was gonna be that was gonna be the end of me. <laughs> oh, but yeah. That's a big one, but I don't know if I want that big one on there. I have a regular size one. Okay, I'm kind of liking him here. I know now I've taken away the place that you could put a label or something, but, well, oh, man, 
and my thing is raised. Oops. Why well, just drop that one on the floor? <laughs> Crud. But my little, I thought I took that, see that, how that little itty one fell off? I thought I had, t oh, this is a white one on top of it. I thought I had took that off of the other one. And when I went to put it down, it was hanging out. Okay, so we're going to put this little pink one, pink iridescent with this white one. And now I know. Let's see. I'm going to have to pull out my little itty bitty ones and put a, a little one on there because, you know, we can't have two. We've got to have three. Uh, you roll back over here. You're okay, Rusty. I'm not going to roll on you. Rusty says, you say that all the time and roll over me all the time. I know I do. Mama lies. <laughs> oh... She's a bad mama. Okay, we're going to put something right there. All right, let me see. Ooh, how about this little shiny pink lavenderish lilac one? Oh, no, that's too dark for this page. I know. We'll do the pink. Well, if I can find it, it's on my finger. Hello, there we go. Oh, come on, Candace. All right, so there's that one. Let me just set this aside in case I need it. All right, so then I had, I needed a card to go in here, which this, you know, to go inside here. So I had this, I had this little scrap piece of, you know, paper that was hanging here, two pieces of scrap. <clears throat> so I just glued it on there, and then we're going to take this purple paper from our little pad. I'm going to put this on here like this. Then I have this little dancing lady fairy. I'm going to put her on here. I'm going to sew around it, put a tab on there, and put a word down there. So, let me let me move this out the way and see if I can do all this that I just said I was going to do. Okay, now. <sighs> so, anyway. And I'm done with this. I think I'm going to go take a nap. I know. I'm just. Just. Just there. Just. Just there. I know this isn't anything exciting. No toots and whistles. But. I got some toots and whistles coming up. But. You might have to wait. I could feel that I had some I didn't cut it exactly straight but we'll trim it on there in a minute we'll make it even oh so yeah I was a little surprised that they stopped his drug so I'm kind of guessing there's no point in him taking it but they didn't really say that they just said we got to check protocol. So, but they're not going to start radiation because at first, you know, they were like, well, based on this trial drug, he can't take it while he does radiation. So we figured he'd be able to take it until they started radiation, which hopefully will be next week. I don't know. We'll, I guess we'll know more Friday. And, uh, but no, they took his pills away and, um, yep. 
really didn't say much about it. So I guess that it is what it is. Like I said, I'm trying to get my little head around it. Oh. So there, I just warn you, there might be a few rough days coming ahead. But I'm going to try to be as cheerful chipper as I can be. I'm going to fake it till I make it. As they say. I don't, I'm not a very good one of those, but you know, anyway. Y'all know. You can tell. Okay, so we have that. And come back here. Oh, you know, yep, okay, I had to make sure. And I got all kind of, what is that up there? Oh, I have an alarm on my thing. I'm like, what's those words? I know. It tells me to eat lunch and take my pill. <laughs> well, you got to take a number. Hold on, okay? I'm, I'm trying. I decided this needed a little more back there and then her and I, I don't know. You know, I still hadn't found that. I'm thinking one of my dogs ate it because I haven't seen it. You know, that white doily. I don't like that. I might, I, I want that white doily. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get me another doily. Okay, I went and got another doily. Because, you know, I'm kind of thinking when it fell off that day, somebody might have ate it. You know, it's just paper, so, oh well. And that somebody's name would starts with an L. And it rhymes with little. <laughs> little girl. She's the one that likes to eat paper. So I try not to, you know, lose many of them. And I'm, I don't know. I'm not liking that. Doggone it. She's going to fight me. I think it's because of all this tan, maybe, and then I got the white behind there. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to force it. I'm going to force her to work. You get out there, woman. You work that street corner. Oh, okay. I am. I'm going to make her work the street corner. We're putting that right there. Oh my gosh. All right. So let me glue it and then I'm going to go sew it and then I'll and then I'll come back and show you the finished thing. She has to go make some tips for me. Okay, guys. So I'm back. Oops. No, no, let me throw that in your face. So I put my tab on there, stitched around it, put a little once upon a time, and then this is the other one that we did with the little itty bitty flower sequins and some other purple sequins and I put some um, flower washi tape down the side. I know all you can tell that it's wood grain is that itty bitty bit now but it just needed some it needed some color. I know. Anyway. Meh. Alright. So and then this is going to go inside here like that. So we have this altered envelope, the, the insert envelope. We put our little sequins on. We made this little card to go in there. And then we have this journal card that's going to go in there. And then I'm going to put some um, tulip sparkles on there in a minute. And then this is our little back of the altered envelope that we have inside there. And our little tag there that we made. And then this is our little pocket that we put on here, our little overlay pocket that we will, down the road, put some, some little tags in there that we have. I know I've got some little ones. And then we put, you know, a little um, sparkle on her um, fairy wings, and we put sparkle on her fairy wings. Well, we need sparkle on her fairy wings. Hold on. Let's put some sparkle on there. I know. Got to have sparkle on our wings if we're going to be a fairy. And then on this one, I went and put some of the little rose gold around there. But I think we'll just add a little sparkle to hers, too. 
I mean, even though they're butterflies, she's still a fairy, and she should have a little sparkle on her. So that's her. Now, let me put my glue on here, and then I'm just going to go... Oh, good God. Hello. My glue's stuck. I know it dries. It's, it's warm. When it gets warm, it starts drying if you leave the top off too much. Okay, so I'm going to put some of the little tulip... Um, glitter dots on there and then I'm going to also take and put some glossy accents on the lanterns okay so let's see if I can get that done real quick excuse the noise if you're hearing any John's come downstairs it's nothing but fight with me day Good grief, that definitely clogged in there. All right. I know I'm wasting my last time doing this because I'm fighting with the hole. There we go. Now, oh, God help me. Anyway, and then we have this little one. Okay. And then we'll put some little, well, that's a big one. Well, it's coming out big. I know, when I tap them down, I guess I'm going to store it the opposite direction because it's, it's falling down. Okay, well, here we go. So let me tap this down. And then while I'm tapping, I'll say thank you for sharing some of your time with me. Thanks for sharing some of your day with me. And then when this dries, this will be all sparkle. And um, thanks for all your love. Thanks for your support. Thank you to all the new subbies that's out there. I think Bridget, um, well, Bridget's been sick. I hope Bridget's feeling better. And then Laura, my McStephanator, she's been sharing some of my videos. And she's helping me so much getting some of my little um, subbies up. Oh, my God. Thank you. Love you, love you, love you, love you. So thanks for everything. Thanks for all for your love. Thanks for your support. Thanks to all my um, old subbies, new subbies, and, and friends. And I will see you on the next video. So lots of kisses, lots of love. All little fairies got lots of love. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day and a blessed day. Bye, guys.